At this time, we'll have our superintendent's report, Dr. Hefner. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, members of the board. Uh, indeed, um, it's uh, a great uh, to be a part of Lexington Richland 5. So many wonderful things uh, going on, and uh, certainly great to be here at the center. And uh, I think it's uh, just appropriate tonight that we once again mention uh, the various opportunities we have for students uh, throughout our entire district. Uh, and we will hold our next magnet fair right here at the center on Thursday, January 7th at 5.30 p.m., where students from across our district can learn about all of the opportunities uh, that are available to them throughout the system. And of course, we've seen increasing numbers of students take advantage of the wonderful opportunities that are here, and we certainly encourage you to help us get out the word about that. Uh, right now, we'll go to Mr. Richardson, our Chief Finance Officer, uh, for our monthly financial reports. Mr. Richardson. Thank you, Dr. Heffer, members of the board, and your packet and exhibit um, B, I think it is. <clears throat> we have the monthly financial reports for October and November. Uh, due to uh, having only one meeting in November, so I wasn't able to give you give you either one, so they're, they're combined. Um, not a whole lot to report on other than everything is looking good at this point in time. We are 5 twelfths through the year as of the end of November, which means um, about 42% through the year. We are, uh, our revenues are, will really start increasing in the December report. They're lagging a little bit behind in, um, in November, but that is usually the case. <clears throat> I'll draw your attention over to the last page, however, with the, um, of the expenditure report showing that we currently have, um, and it would be in the one, two, three, fourth column, of currently $114,550,000 balance left of $166,451,000, which is about 68% of our budget remaining. Um, the next three columns there just show everything that's encumbered, which, which um, with everything, including salaries and fringe, we're at about 10% remaining. Be glad to try to answer any questions that you might have. Any questions from the board, board members? Thank you, Dr. Mr. Richardson. All right, thank you, Mr. Richardson. And now uh, we have uh, an exciting report uh, this evening from our Office of Instruction. I think. One of the most exciting uh, new projects we have going on in the district is uh, Project Search, which has uh, certainly been something that has captivated me. And I'll ask uh, uh, Dr. Melton, our uh, Chief Instructional Officer, to do the introductions. Thank you, Dr. Hefner. Uh, Chairman Gant, board members, tonight, as Dr. Hefner says, we're going to highlight a brand new program this school year to School District 5 that captures partnerships that we've been able to create and a transitional program that's going to benefit our school district and our community. I'd like to call now to the podium our Director of Special Services, Dr. Angie Slatton, for the presentation. Dr. Slatton. Good evening, Chairman, Board, Dr. Hefner, and Executive Committee. I am pleased to present to you D5's in Induction Project Search class. Project Search is an international program that provides intensive employment internship in internship experiences for students with intellectual or developmental disabilities. Our project search site is located at Palmetto Health Baptist Park Ridge and is the first in the Midlands and second in the state. This project is possible because of the partnerships with the Developmental Disabilities Council of South Carolina, Arc of the Midlands, South Carolina Vocational Rehabilitation, and many other community agencies that support our students in our program. This evening, I am honored to present to you our students, staff, and grantors of the program. And I'm going to start with our, with our interns. We don't call them students. We're, they're our interns. So we're going to start with Daniel Austin. Daniel, if you'll come up for us. Judith Gillings. Everybody can see you. Taylor Keyshawn. Tarang Parekh and Raheem Perry. And if the parents of these interns will stand up for us too so they can be recognized as well. We also have with us
we also have some other staff members with us. We've got Liz McGee, who's our full-time instructor. And Liz, if you'll come up for us. We have Sandy Batten, who is our job coach that's funded through Arc of the Midlands. And we have Eric Tolbert, who is our job coach, who is funded through vocational rehabilitation. We're also very blessed to have with us tonight um, two representatives from DD Council, which is Developmental Disabilities Council, who helped fund the, the, the project and the startup of this project. We have Valerie Bishop and Ray Miller. And so that you guys can get a taste of really what happens at Project Search East Day, we're going to show a video that was produced by the staff members at Project Search. And you'll get a, a new photo first. And finally, to let you know a little bit about where we're headed next, our um, interns are starting their second rotations out of three in the hospital. We're in the project pro process now of our job coaches starting to identify job placements either at the hospital setting or in the community. And what, coming January, we'll be starting to look at identifying our next round of candidates for next school year. We're very, very excited and very blessed to have this opportunity in our district. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the board, I want to thank you for this presentation and getting to meet your intern, our interns so mm -hmm. personally. And I've met, I bet some of us have met them in that hospital setting. So mm -hmm. great job from all of them. What a wonderful program, wonderful program. Yes, thank sir. you so much. Let's give them another big round. Thank you. And that concludes the uh, superintendent's report. Thank you, Dr. Hefner. At this time, we'll move directly to item number 13 under our action agenda. We had no one to sign up for public participation. 
and I'll entertain a motion uh, concerning our items that were in our executive session tonight. We'll need a motion on item 2A only. 